Well, I'll tell you, let's see if this is a bridge too far for you, because the furry community is in full effect. This was actually Good crazy shit. because of <laughs> literally last week as well with the Destiny thing. With the, the I watched that whole video. The furries. The, yeah, but with the litter boxes. Because all these kids are like, yes, there are litter boxes. I, I'm telling you, that's a, a lot. Well, so I went, this is, the, I'm going to just say this point a little clearer before I was getting a little excited there. Yeah. But I've said this before, but... It is worse now. There was five or six things that I was like, that's so funny, I want to talk about it. And I had to go to like nine things to figure out what the fuck yeah, was going, going on. on. I know. I watched that whole video. I went on YouTube and like watched like a 10 minute video of them. In, cause, I'll and just the let me read the title. Shrieking. Middle school kids protest staff support for furries click. Dozens of Utah middle schoolers and their parents staged a walkout Wednesday to protest their district allowing so-called student furries to bite uh, bark and pounce on their peers a deranged accusation the school said is nothing more than a rumor so basically the there's an actual protest out there and the parents are all involved and all the right wing sources sort of pick this up and yeah. they're like these furries are out of control like yeah. they're painting and apparently it. What the furries are it's like the principal's kid that's oh come on that's why that's what one of the kids said is goes <laughs> the principal's it's the principal's kid. <laughs> Let's go. That's why they're not getting in trouble. The way they're saying it, it's like, they're saying it, it's like a reverse school where you walk in and the furries run shit. Yeah, it's run like, th what are you looking at? Yeah. Humanoid. It is really crazy. Ah, ah, go, ah, 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 ah. I'm like, does bullying not exist <laughs> It's anymore? the reverse bullying. Honestly, that's like, all I could think of is you go, yeah, you, you go and you fucking shove them into a locker <laughs> in their fu furry suit and then tomorrow they probably <laughs> aren't a furry anymore. What happens is like the captain of the football team's coming and they come bite his ball like, yeah. <laughs> Beat like, it, jock. Many, but I guess what they're saying is they're like, we do bully them and then we get in trouble for it. Like, we fight back against them and they're, they're, like, that's, and they're like, we're getting in trouble. The furry for side it. is they were sort of getting bullied and they were fighting back. And then also they're saying they just have the cat ears on. Yeah. But the. I don't know why the kids would be lying because if it is funny though, I, I, I don't know because a lot of them said the thing about. I mean that would be hilarious even the, though. Even the person interviewing them was like, he's like, I thought the kitty litter thing was just a rumor, and then like a bunch of them are like, no, 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 I've seen it. Like I saw the kitty litter. It like, might be. I mean, can you imagine you were like these twelve kids staging the protest, and then you got in trouble for like bullying the furries, and then you went to the grave that they were biting you, <laughs> and then you actually to the point where your parents were like, well then let's protest if you're getting bit by the furries, and you had to like, okay, yeah. you had to go protest. That they're biting you. I mean, said, she said, or they said. Hey, I had whatever. a teacher once that was a hall monitor, and then she, uh, uh, she, we like, I guess, w would uh, torment her so much that she eventually punched Waldo. Oh, really? And they brought us to the office, and then we acted like it really affected us, and we were feeling the trauma, and we wanted to demand a written apology. <laughs> and then the principal left the room, and we both burst out laughing. Probably the hardest I've ever laughed in my life. Because he and he goes, you know, what? I know she had a problem with my stepbrother too, so maybe it's my family that rubs her the wrong way. <laughs> like I've never seen there in the office and like like putting my fucking yeah but imagine that though that you st you went into the office and you were just like these furries they will not leave you alone the guy's been shitting and biting me i mean it seems <laughs> difficult to believe to be honest like it, the whole thing but then you see these like it was like different articles are saying like 50, different things it was like 50 kids but the thing is i watched the interview with the kids i wasn't what are the kids saying they're saying exactly this the like, kids are like they keep biting they're us. like they're biting us and they're hitting us <laughs> and they're like if we try and fight back they're like we get in trouble and they're like it's the principal's child they're, they're made men the furries basically and they're saying all this stuff and you're like if you read it on some website you'd be like surely they're like you know taking liberties here but then you're like it's straight from these kids mouth so unless they're organizing to make this shit up and like you know but it was like 20 kids or something the guys got i got bite marks and the principal's like you don't got shit they're like they're biting our ankles and stuff i'm like <laughs> kick him in the head it's like i would literally have a fucking if i was in high school or elementary school some kid kicked me in the ankles i, like, would, I would hoof him in the face i'd love to see that and then you just see you look around the hill and you just see nine thousand furries coming down <laughs> hey jew boy <laughs> it's utah there can't be that many furries <laughs> i i don't know but it, there's a some people are saying there's furries and they're out of control the strange saga begins several weeks ago when a group of students cornered another group in the lunchroom and threw food at them because of the way they dressed at school so this article is trying to paint it the other way then the school sent a letter out being like hey you guys need to lay off the furries and then that's when it sort of went haywire because everyone was like lay off the furries they won't stop biting us right yeah maybe the furries are saying i don't know if there was no interviews with any furries so i don't know if they're saying hey we actually <laughs> are just defending ourselves but the protest are furries is just the new goths is that what that is <laughs> 
that's what someone sort of proposed. It was be like, hey, if goths back in the day. Yeah, but- as far as just the new goth, because I remember there was like when I was in high school and there was like just there was, it was literally like the goths in South Park. Like to was, me, it was there was four goth. Kids, yeah, that's kind of what you would think. And they were just like they hung out by themselves and they were goth like, kids around my area actually weren't that much of pussies. Oh, these were believe it or not, because this is when like Marilyn were. Manson was huge and all that yeah, sort of this stuff. Is where so we had too. we had goth kids that were almost like metal guy a little bit. No, so they actually were. weren't pussies. They just kind of wore weird shit. No, these ones were pussies in my school. I remember there they was a weird, really weird there was a weird thing where some of the goth kids I remember because I remember the one like biggest goth kid I knew he was like a real goth up until like grade 8, 9 and then like when Eminem and all that stuff like was getting hot yeah. he basically transferred into being like a wigger that's a tough transition and he legitimately I saw him because he went to a different school I knew him from oh, hockey okay. and I saw him two years later he was like the full thing makeup everything and I thought I saw him two years later and he was wearing like an Eminem jumpsuit <laughs> <laughs> I was just like what good, a turn good move I guess <laughs> better than goth the goth, the goth. You just left the goth stuff in the dust. The goth kid had, had a tough time in high school when I was in high school, like specifically. The, really, eh? Yeah, they. The Jewish, oh, your high school wasn't no, feeling my, that. Not the Jewish no, high school, the Jewish Burlington school. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. They didn't, they didn't have a good time. And then I remember seeing one of the goth kids, like <laughs> maybe five years later, and like they had. He, I guess he was trying to slowly transition to normal, so he was just wearing eyeliner. <laughs> Well, you have to eventually transition out, right? Yeah, like you can't be a goth for the rest of your Some life. Some of them go to raver next. Mm. Some of the goths transition into like, they do the same thing, but instead of black pants, now you put a little neon on there. Yeah. You add a glow stick to the mix. You start dreading your hair a little, get some weird hairdos. I think some of the goths transition into that. Yeah. But it was weird when you see some of them hard transition into like, <laughs> straight up like a G-unit guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, people have long memories with that stuff. They're not being like, e, you're not the G-Unit guy. <laughs> nice try, but no. Well, when the furries start, you know, transitioning into like a frat boy. Well, the furries, the crazy thing to me is the funny, the pe- reason why this is so funny to me is because the protest actually happened. Yes. So the kids are out there and there's other kids out there. You know, everyone's just protesting right now, right? So yeah. the other kids are like, free Palestine. It's like, no, the furries won't stop biting me. <laughs> like these two guys are beside each other having the same Protest. Yeah, you know, you know, we are not unreasonable <laughs> here. We just would like to not be bitten. Stop the war, these fucking freaks! Stop the war in Gaza. Craig won't stop biting me. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Like legitimately, everyone has their own problems, you know. Cra- I Craig's literally biting me. Yeah, <laughs> he's gnawing on my ankle. Yeah, I mean. <sighs> Yeah, this is this this one is so difficult to believe. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Like I'm waiting for there to be in like a month being like this was like all a big prank by these kids or something. That's the only option. It's either happening or the kids are pranking. But or they're lying. not like furries with like the full things, are they? Well, they're trying. Every side's trying to downplay the other side. Right. Like the one side is like they're shitting in litter boxes, and the other side's like we got the ears on. Right. We're basically yeah, yeah. anime people. Yeah, we're like anime people. And they're the other drawing. side's like, no, you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've watched you shit in the litter box. <laughs> So, <laughs> like, when you bring in a litter box from home, like, you would think the janitor would be like, What's this litter box doing in the r- restroom? I, I have a hard time to believe they're shitting in a litter box. I can't buy that. No. But when it was just like the right wing places and the guys, but then now that the kids are saying it, I'm, I'm a little more inclined to believe that something's going on. Sure, sure. But I may, maybe the kids are smart and they just know they go, We should make up this litter box thing because. This will like have the fucking furries. We know dead. libs at TikTok's gonna be. We all know over like this. these furries will be dead to rights if if, <laughs> if five of us say that we saw a fucking litter box. Like <laughs> that's over. It's like back in the day saying that you saw the Ozzy Osbourne fans doing spells. Exactly. You know, and like kids aren't that stupid. Like they're they're probably smart. they were doing witchcraft or whatever. Yeah, exactly. But like these kids are probably like you know they're on the internet. They probably can figure out they're twelve. Like they can figure out to do this and mm-hmm. just lie about it. Yeah, there's probably some. We were sitting beside some kids. Uh, me and Eric when we were on the way to the show we were just like uh, waiting for uh, shakes mm. and there was like four or five kids talking about just how sick Andrew Tate is like probably like 11 <laughs> year olds maybe not probably not 11 probably more like 13 yeah, yeah but it was just a table of four kids just being like so sick dude did you see that thing with Tristan like the, uh, t- the, the 14 year old kids are not about yeah, the furry yeah. life right so it is possible that they found out how to to sort of like get the furries expelled by saying they're biting them yeah yeah is there a hustle do you think uh, with all this like uh younger younger people liking the tates will they start like a hustler high school hustler pre-k <laughs> a hustler pre-k <laughs> like signing up your six-year-old for hustler fucking- montessori school <laughs> 
<laughs> Hustler Kumon? Do you Kumon? think they have Kumon? I don't know. I don't think they have yeah, Kumon yeah. in America. But no, they have Kumon here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Kumon's where you go, you do go to learn extra math. Yeah. If you're Asian. <laughs> So mostly ethnic people in that class. Yeah, Not yeah. a lot of white kids were getting sent to have to do extra Yeah, math. that's why the whites are doing so badly, Ryan. 